So the prep of the colonox or colonoscopy which they gave, mm. uh, I mean, that changed the whole thing very quickly into a, a complete full flare. This is textbook ulcerative colitis and call it as pan colitis. I said like, okay, is there any dietary restriction or something because of colitis? I said, nope, this is absolutely in diet. Your diet has nothing to do with uh, what uh, you have. All I remember is I had this uh, booster shot of uh, the, uh, the mRNA vaccine. The next day, it was back. So yeah, when I j joined the program, it was an eye opener. I um, was clearly told the root cause of uh, the disease. I learned not to get afraid of detoxification. We do not look at that detox process as suffering. We look at it as uh, I don't go in the bathroom to suffer, but I go over there to detox and heal. It's happiness. It's just like it's confidence and like happiness. You are like, yeah, yeah initially, yeah, I hope so. No, no, I, I will. That becomes like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you begin to lose the fear. You begin to feel the power of the body supporting yourself. I can eat pretty much everything. I can eat a salad. I can eat beans. I can eat rice. I can eat mushrooms. I can um, uh, I can eat mm. spices added to them. Um, um, I can eat onion and garlic and uh, the cumin and coriander and and what not i can eat yeah uh, yeah like what i could um, yeah pretty much eat before except for i i, I don't want to eat oils and animal products but yeah hmm. pretty much which i ever hoped yeah <laughs> and now it's mainly i feel like i'm in harmony with my own body learn hmm. to read it learn to make it happy provide a nourishment to it and um, uh, i pretty much feel like yeah no, uh, the, there's no more fear about or, mm. uh, uh, about colitis, uh, about uh, co um, about inflammation. It's completely in harmony uh, with your own self. It feels powerful and it feels healed. Give this video a thumbs up if you know what it's like to live with IBD, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. This channel is designed to help people recover from colitis, Crohn's, and any other form of IBD. You can always head to our website, highcarbhealth.com, for a free 30-minute consultation from anywhere in the world. And remember, there is a life after colitis. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of IBD Heal, a podcast brought to you by High Carb Health. I'm your host, Shakul, and I'm joined here by Shashir. Welcome to the show. Hey, Shakul. Yeah. Now, Shashir has done the medically impossible. He's healed himself and is medication free from pancolitis. And we're here to hear all about his journey, what he went through to heal. And so let's get started, uh, Shashir. Let's talk a little bit about how you were diagnosed and the symptoms that you experienced at the time. Yeah. So it was back in uh, 2011. That's when my symptoms began to show up. It started off just uh, like indigestion. That's what I thought. So it was a diarrhea. Mm -hmm. And um, it wouldn't get better. Meaning I tried first like anyone does is try Imodium. To mm -hmm. it, let's see if that works. But that didn't. That's when I knew like I had to visit uh, my doctor. And then they sent me for the regular stool test to see if there's some virus or uh, they need to treat me. Mm -hmm. And I and everything came negative, so and they were like, "Oh, this might just be some stress." Um, so keep taking the emodium, and things should maybe in a few days uh, get better. Yeah, so emodium actually didn't work. Then they said, "Okay, you can you can take some uh, probiotics. Maybe that will help your digestion system get a little better." Now, that didn't work either. It was like a month I was trying that and nothing got better. That's when they said, like, you know, uh, we need to do your test again and see maybe if some more so this time, the first time it might not show up. Now, will it show, will some bacteria or some infection show up? And that time also it came negative. Uh, so no, no problem with that. So... They initially believed this was all psychological. This is IBS. So when my when I get upset, it maybe that's when I'm having or I'm exaggerating a little bit. 
but um, uh, it it wouldn't stop i would uh, uh, so it it was a couple of months that i didn't have a normal stool it mm-hmm. was uh, just diarrhea then they said okay now we got to check whether there's a problem with your gall bladder or you know we need to do an ultrasound maybe that's what's causing it so tested out my gall bladder with ultrasound when that came everything fine uh, so uh, no problem and then eventually they were still in so sort of denial that there's nothing serious going on with you that they began like uh, offered me some medication which is based off for like my mood improvement which was supposed to be make me feel positive or something and i was like this is something serious i need to go to uh, from my family pr- practitioner to i need to be referred to a specialist now mm-hmm. because it's been a couple of months that's when i went to the gi and said oh probably we need to do a colonoscopy and uh, find that out so so far my diarrhea was like uh, pretty much twice daily and uh, now the things changed rapidly after this uh, so the prep of the colonox colonoscopy which they gave mm. uh, i mean that changed the whole thing very quickly and to a, a complete full flare and uh, so it's done for, so they completed my colonoscopy and told me like hey you had we saw some inflammation and um, uh, um yeah looks like you got colitis and i had done some homework like what is colonoscopy for what can they find what mm-hmm. is not so i was like how oh, so is it proctitis or the sigmoidoitis or what left sided what is it say so, no it's your entire colon it's mm-hmm. um, it, you are both the right ascending or uh, transverse descending on the sigmoid and we saw ulcerations pretty much everywhere and i said like could it be crohn's no nope. they said no we checked the small bowel and that was all fine so this is textbook ulcerative colitis and call it as pan colitis so it's because mm. it's spread all over the colon mm. and i was like oh okay i don't know how bad that is i thought like because that my initial uh, look up told that okay there are some medications available and they then uh, told me to go to a, they they referred to me something called as ascol and uh, balsalicide the 6 asa or something uh, uh, those um, mm-hmm. uh, i forgot the class name of the, uh, the class of the medications but they said like okay so you got to um, uh, start having these medications though and those pills were really very huge it just even swallowing them was a big deal like 3 and 3 and 3 like nine pills or hmm. throughout and um, i said like okay is there any dietary restriction or something because of colitis i said no nope, this is absolutely in diet. your diet has nothing to do with uh, <laughs> what uh, you have um, uh, and um, they were like you know you just don't be worried this is like a blood pressure high blood pressure people you they have to take one pill hmm. so your say say medications are just colitis is just nothing it's just like a high blood pressure a high bp you just take this pills and you should be fine and uh, there'll be uh, no problem and after the colonoscopy i was in full flare meaning hmm. now started seeing blood uh, 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 like uh, uh, in my diarrhea and it kept on increasing uh, mm. i thought if something was wrong with the colonoscopy they said nope no it doesn't look like so that's when i got really into the thing oh this is something very serious happening now because uh, i would feel very dizzy after you know, blood uh, mm. uh passing out blood mm. and now there's uh, some problems so i got another appointment and told them like this is what is happening then they said nope you you, you keep going you minimize fiber because fiber is not good for you because it's your colon is right now ulcerated so stay off fiber and i said what about the uh, um, so any foods are okay they said yeah these medications are powerful these days so they should be you should be able to heal but it didn't work so that's when uh, they said oh no 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 uh, we got to put you on uh, now a, a steroid that mm-hmm. is spread this on uh, because that's going to um uh, that's going to m- m- your colitis seems to be not responding to the normal medication we got to put you on prednisone and that's when i knew the seriousness of it because they made me sign something like oh i understand the risk of steroids and what is being prescribed to me after evaluating 
the mm. benefits whatever and um, uh, the the thing i was like okay start with the 40 mg and uh, yeah that made me feel better 40 mg uh, to start with and i began to see some little uh, solid uh, uh, stools getting formed at 40 mg and then i had to taper down like uh, 5 mg every two weeks or something and uh, again i was like reminded like nope now you're feeling good you can proceed with your diet your diet has will have nothing to do with it i was like oh this was easy hmm. so uh, no prednisone is 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 the um, uh, is the silver bullet of colitis that's what i thought back then <laughs> but i kept the uh, tapering down and i knew it, it's already the reactions of prednisone were horrible like it's got my hair on my cheek and all, all over the body i could see uh, differences and as soon as i reached 20 mg it was back so i could not go below 20 mg uh, that's when i went back i'm like hey to uh, the gi like it's 20 uh, like i can't go below it's it's coming back um, they said okay so we again put you bump up prednisone and uh, so i was again uh, uh, increased it to 40 mg and began tapering over the second attempt hmm. but no nope, this time it was like it i wouldn't go below 25 mg so it it came back on uh, 25 mg now then i said oh now looks like yeah we got to you got some uh, there's a there's a problem here uh, so uh, we got to somehow find a way to get you off prednisone because uh, that's not good for the long term but now you can keep it few weeks and you still see again uh, you come back to us and then we'll see uh, what happens so, but i couldn't uh, get below and i knew and i could see so many side effects of prednisone it got some rashes on my body it started to uh, increase the length of hair uh, on my skin um, it started giving me like uh, weird dreams uh, uh, and all that thing I, i knew that i wanted to get off this i don't know what this this drug as soon as possible and i when i went back they said no your colitis is uh, uh, severe colitis uh, so we got you started you on uh, the immunosuppressants uh, that is um, uh, we have imuran and 6mp hmm. uh, we need to make sure whether your liver is strong enough and some blood work is required that you can handle uh, this medication so i had those blood tests done Mm-hmm. and one more time i'm signing that i understand the uh, risks and uh, uh, no, uh, the benefits of medication mm-hmm. and they're saying like your oh, severe your colitis is severe uh, and at that point that didn't make much sense to me i was like how are they measuring the severity are they even treating it at all because mm-hmm. severity for me was back then was like okay if you got a minor headache you take uh, ibuprofen but if you have a tooth extraction maybe you take 800 mg so that because your pain is much more severe so this medication was not even affecting anything hmm. so i don't know how they were, it was like mentioning that it's it's severe or mild that didn't make sense i wasn't sure if it was in, even being treated at all uh, 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 and but so I, they prescribed me the 6mp which i learned later was a leukemia or related invented drug which was originally invented for leukemia hmm. and that didn't go well to that was like it gave me some made me a little emotional and um, some i don't know i would just like feel brain fog and uh, all those kind of things so i had to get out of this but i still i didn't know of any options back then this is 2011 um and uh but i uh, began changing my diet i made the difference i began uh, eating stuff that time like which was a uh, little easier for me to digest and um so uh, basically what's uh, what, what the thing is my colitis has uh, went is two parts to it uh, it flared up two parts in my whole 10 year journey but and this is the first part the hmm. so what happened next is i uh, i started taking herbal medication and reduce my diet significantly and uh, that uh, got me to a little bit semi remission state mm. but uh, um, and uh, but i that was more of addressing the disease and not the cause uh, mm. for it and uh, i was i still didn't know what caused me this disease in the first place and what uh, what is this all about and i still kept uh, listening to uh, their advice uh, that uh, that minimize the fiber 
uh, in your mm-hmm. diet uh, your lettuce and all this is all uh, sheep and rabbit food you need only uh, the 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 food that is cooked and yeah milk is absolutely fine so i was consuming animal and milk products for these years and i mm. intermittently kept having uh, issues like uh, with a little bit of diet and on and um, it would colitis would come back and it would go back uh, it would uh, subside it would come and go and uh, that kept happening a couple of years until uh, 2020 Mm, uh, that's when uh, 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 so the sequence of events was that I was like as usual everything was yeah, uh, uh, like uh, going as usual uh, uh, which I was pretty much used to that lifestyle like colitis sometimes comes it goes away when you minimize the diet mm. and in 2020 so I don't know I had this uh, all I remember is I had this uh, booster shot of uh, the, uh, the mRNA vaccine and um, i don't know if that is related but um, yeah what mentioning so uh the next day it was back and hmm. like i knew this is like uh, something is not right uh, 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 a diarrhea this bad pointing to something else that my entire stomach whole digestive system was empty and none of the herbs or whatever i was taking or whatever the my go to book was to go back and eat a, a less spicy diet or eat some gods nothing mm. worked and mm. i am i was completely heartbroken back then i was like oh this is back now and i i don't know what to do now whatever my my old foods which i was doing are also not working and now i, I really don't know uh, what's happening to me mm. i we waited out a couple of months and nope there's no effect uh, i'm like back to 2011 Hmm. and uh, and nothing worked and that's when i was like um, i don't know what to do. i was like nothing else i'm able to digest my uh, diarrhea is is back i began searching on juicers and maybe juice will help me and that's when in the advertisements it showed me um, the book called self healing crohn's and colitis this author used juicing hmm. and i was like oh worth checking this book out uh, what what is this uh, book related to juicing and and then uh, so i got that book but i didn't know how to use it it's pretty much generic i knew the concept what uh, they are trying to say hmm. but i didn't I, it's it was too broad for me like what exactly uh, should i eat because and how should i progress hmm. i didn't know that but um, uh, and uh, um, that, that confirmed my initial theory that um, uh, i had always had a suspicion that animal milk and milk products and animal products were not good for me Hmm. but i kept looking on the internet and there i found high carb health and hmm. that's when uh, i saw um, um, uh, shamiz's case and i was like yeah yeah yeah, yeah this is what uh, i need and i was a very big skeptic about anything like this seen on the internet or i never <laughs> ever would even think of uh, like trying or uh, or doing because i believe believed on still the medical system like i believed like how come can when science has said that this is uh, not curable can anyone say that it is curable i had my doubts but my intuition at that point was like this looks something different let's it's worth a shot let's at mm-hmm. least do mm-hmm. that initial consultation and um, let's uh, let's let's check and and one more thing whatever i saw in the initial testimonials and whatever a uh, couple of videos they they did resonate with me that's the reason for i got my i got the faith in them like uh, uh, f- uh the faith to even try it out to mm. approach i carb health like animal products are bad yeah i somehow intuitively always knew that uh, from inside yeah fruits are good uh, they heal yeah i always intuitively know that yeah yeah this is all which is actually uh, is is sinking with me and i was like yeah let's schedule that initial in, uh, con- uh, consultation in that initial uh, thing with shamiz I was like I, I lost all hope now the, on <laughs> um, it's my colitis is back and I don't know I I don't want to go back to 6 MP and prednisone and yeah um and uh, so that's how it uh, I approached and that's how I landed in good hands yeah hmm. it's quite a journey yeah. huh for for yeah. 10 years 10 years journey to try and find out the solution yeah. but it's uh i guess you have to kind of realize at some point that 
you want to live some kind of quality of life you know you uh, as you said for those 10 years you were just bouncing between okay some symptoms and some better periods and some symptoms and you know yeah the the herbal thing, medications and things they can assist a little bit right? but as you said you're dealing with not the the actual root cause you're dealing with the symptoms and so that's what we have to get to and you know that's what our program teaches is how to address the root cause of why you get this in the first place so let's just hear about what shami's told you in the initial consultation and then why did you decide to join and then we can talk about how what the program was like as well yeah so in the initial uh, consultation i uh, like uh, so I, de- I described to shamiz um, all my symptoms and i was like hey but i know fruits and all is recommended but i'm a little you know fearful about uh, starting with fruits uh, because all this time i was told that this is these are, this is fruits can uh, um, aggravate your symptoms and hmm. all of that and i was like hey i tried even pineapple and it's crude he's like hey why are you trying even acidic fruits why are you mm-hmm. even <laughs> doing that Cut the cut them all out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't even uh, think about uh, uh, acidic fruits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what about bananas and apples? Right, those are good. So uh, see, fruits are not bad. That's mm. what he said. And mm. uh, I and uh, uh, and and, uh, and also he's like, yeah, yeah. This is uh, no problem at all. Uh, and uh, all uh, he asked me if I've, if I've seen through uh, the testimonials. I have like I have, but my only uh, I'm fearful of starting something like this. He said, no, we don't fear this way. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we do not get afraid of um, um, uh, the detox process. The body mm-hmm. heals itself. Um, as per what the ACHH, he asked me if I've read that. And he's like, all right, now, yeah. Now, so you've already done the homework. Like you have uh, read um, the SCHH, SCH uh, book, uh, um, uh, SCC, Quorum Cell Colitis, yeah. Self-healing colitis. Um, SCHH, yeah. SCH, yeah. yeah. Uh, and self healing Crohn's and colitis. Yeah, and um, he was like, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and I connected with what he, he said. Like, uh, uh, like, I, uh, like he seemed to know what he's talking about. I just was on my sixth sense. Like, mm. yeah, when he said like about the foods and what is my uh, current diet, and he, uh, he pointed out like I was still eating gluten, the wheat uh, uh, stuff, and all that stuff. So, uh, um, uh, so my intuition connected. I was like, he uh, really knows what he's talking about and he's confident that he said there are so many people with these symptoms that we have, we have seen and and from his own journey. Hmm. That I was like, yeah, it didn't, I was like, within minutes I had decided, okay, I want to go ahead uh, with, the, um, uh, uh, with the program. Hmm. Yeah. When you start the program, our program is all about education and teaching our clients not only what to do, but why they're doing it. So talk to the audience a little bit about what you learned about the root cause of colitis and Crohn's and IBD and some of the other things that you got when you joined the program. Yeah. So, yeah, when I j- joined the program, it was an eye opener. I um, was clearly told the root cause of uh, the disease and what I had been eating, those uh, animal products and um, uh, uh, oils and all of the healthy food and uh, I was even eating outside a lot and um, how these products are uh, um, uh, for, uh, like end up as toxins in the gut and into mm. the bloodstream and, uh, and my and the body is actually only trying to heal itself it's uh, not trying to uh, harm you or trying to kill itself but it's only trying to get and uh, heal itself and the only person in the way is um, our diet, which is right now not the uh, the best. And if we are in harmony with it, if we allow the body to do what it does and what it's hundred percent capable of doing, um, healing is just um, uh, uh, very near, uh, yeah. in near sight. And um, so uh, yeah, and I uh, so I learned the root cause of what has actually been aggravating my condition. And then uh, I and I learned not to get afraid of detoxification um, process and how to um, um, allow that to happen and um, how to uh, 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 step by step progress. So um, yeah, 
So, uh, 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 so the, yeah, that's pretty much. Mm -hmm. right, great. So, how did the early healing journey go for you? Then, you know, let's talk about you know when you had the really bad symptoms. What was what those symptoms like? You know, how many bowel motions a day? How you know diarrhea, bleeding? Um, how was that? Was there any pain? And then, as you went through the healing process, what happened from there? Yeah, so my diarrhea was like going upwards uh, when I joined this process, and I was thinking it's going to go to the point that I'm going to be back on uh, some of the, those uh, cr the crazy drugs. Hmm. But um, I had pain on my the left side of uh, my uh, stomach, to feel like something poking me from inside, hmm. um, as though like there is some sharp thing poking me from inside. I used to have that sensation, hmm. and uh, uh yeah the bowel motions were uh like four um, and three to four and sometimes there would be even two but uh, because i would not eat anything um mm -hmm. if i would try to eat uh, more stuff they would uh, increase uh, in that stuff uh, and yeah i could see mucus and it's getting a little bloody uh, um, uh, not all the time uh, but uh, it was i know it's going up now uh, and the only way I was like uh, so doing is not eating much, or um, I didn't know what to do. Uh, uh, eat in the uh, uh, eat at that point of time, and uh, so that was my uh, uh, precondition, uh, like uh, uh, what I was having before um, uh, when I just joined the program, and uh, yeah, and when I started. Uh, uh, the program i went through the all of the phases that is the the transition diet the detox um, uh, uh, process the uh, the healing and uh, all of these uh, various phases mm, yeah. Uh, yeah i'm not sure how deep you want me to elaborate but mm, yeah. yeah just explain to the audience uh, you know what you noticed as the body started to heal so you know we talk about how the uh, how the yeah. body's the symptoms will increase before they get better what does that yeah, mean yeah. and, and yeah. what happened from there? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 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 in the healing phase, that is the initial phase, I was not afraid of like, no, uh, I was told that, uh, that we don't get afraid of diarrhea because it just, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we allow the body to do what it does. And the healing phase was, yep, the, the, the fruits caused um, uh, me to uh, detox. And um, no, no, we do not look at that detox process as suffering. We look at it as uh, I don't go in the bathroom to suffer, but I go over there to detox and heal. Hmm. Um, uh, that's the uh, thing. Which so my whole outlook changed there to uh, to cause like anxiety over diarrhea or to um, think like oh or like um, uh, accept this as a fate or uh, or that. Way that looked at so the outlook changed to immediately a positive outlook as to it's 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 a detox it's not uh suffering um uh, at that process so the uh, so initial phases the uh as it, it was detoxing yeah I, uh, the bowel motions did increase um uh, a couple of ti uh, times more hmm. and yep and later miraculously as what they said <laughs> It started healing. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, yeah. What did that look like in terms of your symptoms? How did it, uh, how did it, how did the body change over time? What did, what happened to the symptoms over time? Uh, so now uh, um, I, I was like so I when I, when I started the healing diet, yeah, um, and I used to get regular feedback from high card from you. And and yeah, I, I was, sometimes it was just like pretty straight. Like okay, I was doing sometimes a lot of examples. Say rice, and you were like, "Hey man, I need to cut it down." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, I I hope like the that was the only item which I secretly loved, but I knew it was not good." <laughs> but during the healing phase of it, but I was like, "Oh, that went off the list." But I knew mm. it's for good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, during the uh, initial phase, I and I I knew exactly. Well, I've seen the videos of high carb and you know, and I exactly knew what kind of a diet y'all are looking for. Hmm. And I did, that and yeah, like 
uh, yep yeah, i said and I, the good part was i was getting it validated uh, with you every single time we uh, we talk as to mm. whether i'm on the right path or not mm. and there was one phase where uh, i was still uh, uh, in my detox phase and you looked at my diet and you were like your meals are simply this thing and it's like a, they're simply correct or, or, or right on hmm. and i was not believing like okay these are right on but still maybe uh, still i want to see some difference and i just kept continuing that hmm. and boom it's like okay one fine day it it was like i had like becoming i uh, started having a solid uh, more you know, forming bowel hmm. motions hmm. and i saw the difference there itself like oh wow yeah uh, this uh, this thing is now beginning to heal hmm. and it uh, uh, kept uh, um, uh, getting better but i had my initial doubts though like if i eat this what would happen if i eat uh, so and so substance uh, so and so vegetables how to handle it but i kept getting the guidance and that made me more brave uh, hmm. to uh, keep increasing uh, uh, um, from healing diet to uh, to post healing and yep and then to pretty much normal stuff <clears throat> mm. so from the healing phase where your diet was quite restrictive for a period of time mm. and you yeah. know one of the things that you did really well to share is that you kept very consistent with your food you know same kind of thing day in day out which meant your body had the right conditions to heal and so what is it like how do we reintroduce the foods back from so you go to a, you go to the transition phase and you go to phase 1 which is the healing phase and you know yeah. you don't have to go fully on to the strict diet plan if you have support some people do some people don't but mm-hmm. once you've healed and you know talk about what that feels like when the body heals and the symptoms have resolved and how does that feel before we start talking about post healing yeah we uh, slowly uh, introduce uh, uh, one thing after the other like i had very uh, great opinion of fear of um, the broccoli and uh, mm. uh, the crucifer stuff initially like as a pet or paranoid to i don't want to go back but now as we can see i can i'm pretty much i can eat well, pretty mm. much all of it mm. uh, and that's it so uh, from the healing diet to uh, the the post healing we slowly introduce uh, things we don't go um, all at once and mm-hmm. um, and also there's so uh, not just ra- random things there's a specific order which i learned from you all um uh, on, uh, and yeah so slowly slow introduction and uh, uh, yeah uh, seeing how your body reacts to it and gradually upping uh, um, uh, the quantity and adding more variations uh, to develop the uh, the gut a uh, microbiome uh, mm. required to uh, digest uh, all of that stuff mm. yeah 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 in fact i want to mention even one more, more thing uh, like uh, before coming to high carb i done even one more test called uh, from wyomi and that it had come over there like basically they send a, a stool sample and they tell you what you should eat and not they had banned strictly two substances for me which is the cucumber and dill which they said i had some virus in my stomach uh, which is which will uh, ruin the digestion and as we progressed with this diet um, my gut microbiome was completely so well developed that i have that all the time and mm, i'm all good with that uh, at, at the moment mm. so yeah there was supposedly some virus in my stomach which was i was not supposed to eat but developing a good my uh, gut microbiome by uh, by gradual introduction of foods and uh, um, providing the cultivating conditions mm. all that can also so um, uh, uh, that's also one thing yeah mm. uh, and how did it feel just before uh, um you carry on with the next phases how did it feel that experience of having those symptoms go away like when they went away what what did you feel like it's happiness it's just like it's confidence and like happiness you are like yeah, yeah initially yeah i hope so no no i, I will that becomes like <laughs> yeah you mm. know like you begin to lose the fear you begin to feel the power of the body supporting yourself and mm, yeah it's it's wow it's simply yep yeah, it just feels um, yeah, very relieving and yep yeah, and very much strengthening uh, to go across these phases you no longer fear 
for um, um, and you, you, uh, you uh, in fact, I always felt that I'm more in harmony with myself with this uh, food food diet. That's one mm-hmm. thing, and so uh, yeah, so yeah, that's 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 pretty much. You feel good, you feel confident, you feel blessed, you feel wow, you feel excited um uh, about that um yeah and slowly the uh, it's, it's understandable the initially we all have the fears of mm. you know, certain foods with past experience which have caused problems but those uh you lose it um uh, as and when you progress so it's a it's an amazing feeling wonderful and before we move on to what your life is like now let's just talk about what you were eating during the healing phase like what was your day like just take us through one day of eating breakfast lunch and dinner during the yeah so in the, during the healing phase i would start the like with the juice uh and that would be uh, uh lettuce uh, uh, uh let us say uh, romaine um uh, and uh, celery and apples so i would start uh, uh, with the juice uh mm. oh i'm sorry before that i would uh i missed one part i would uh have um, a liter of water to uh, uh, have the star, um, uh, the basically to cleanse the uh, um, the whole uh, um, digestive uh, system. Yeah, soiled elementary canal is no good. So mm. uh, to keep things moving, I would have the the juice uh, which I just mentioned. Then I would have the breakfast, which uh, is uh, mainly was like bananas and dates, and um, uh, these are uh, and uh, and so would the lunch uh, mm. be uh, the, with uh, the fruits uh, in the uh, in the in the healing diet, which is uh, there in the, even in the book. Uh, mainly the bananas, uh, persimmons, um, uh, just uh, apples, and uh, uh, yeah, so uh, dates. And so on, and in the yeah, uh, and uh, and dinner was to be cooked with all the lovely uh, bottle guards and pumpkins and roots and all mm. of that stuff. So um, I was um, pretty much on the cooked uh, fruits and uh, cooked uh, uh, vegetables. Yeah, so that's what was my um, healing um, uh, phase. And then, what can you eat now? I can eat pretty much everything. I can eat a salad. I can eat beans. I can eat rice. I can eat mushrooms. I can um, uh, I can eat even a salad. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, raw foods. I can eat mm-hmm. spices added to them. Um, um, I can eat onion and garlic and uh, the cumin and coriander and and what not i can eat yeah uh, yeah like what i could um, yeah pretty much eat before except for i i, I don't want to eat oils and animal products but yeah hmm. pretty much i wish i ever hoped yeah <laughs> yeah, could, yeah so uh, just because absolutely. you know like people get scared that okay i've got colitis and i can't eat salad and i can't eat these foods but once you heal the body is able to deal with them and digest it very eat comfortably can't it yeah yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely slow and steady you get there but yeah yeah <clears throat> wonderful so now now that you've gone through the healing phase and you've gone through post healing and you're eating all the different foods what is your life like compared to what it was like before you joined the high carb health program well, uh, yeah before it was mainly i would say it was maybe constant fear it mm. was uh, like oh living on a prayer mm. uh, it was um, uh, like oh, oh like con- constant thinking of what might have caused this or what will uh, increase the symptoms what will make it worse or um, uh, what will the future be like or um, all uh, uh, all these sorts of like conflicting feelings mm. um, uh, uh, like before the uh, pro- uh, uh, the program and now it's mainly i feel like i'm in harmony with my own body learn mm. to read it learn to make it happy provided nourishment to it and um, i pretty much feel like yeah no, uh, the, there's no more fear about or, mm. uh, uh, about colitis uh, about uh, co- um, about inflammation and no more fear about uh, like the uh, the detox symptoms which the body um, uh, goes through mm. and Pretty much now feel like yeah, um, uh, yeah, you can what seemed impossible of like eating the diet um, which I never ever thought 
like certain foods which uh, when even I in post healing when I was eating I was like shukul I have not had this in 12 years and I'm now I can even have it like I could yeah, I could never think of having mushrooms or those uh, uh, salads or this kind of stuff in um in 12 years I could never have it mm-hmm. and I was like wow it feels home again to meaning taste um, uh, these kind of things again like a um, uh, yeah so it's 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 amazing uh, feeling yeah yeah it's, and it's it's completely in harmony uh, with your own self it feels powerful and it feels healed hmm yeah that's the biggest yeah. thing is that you feel healed uh, yeah yeah so thank you for sharing shishir i mean what a journey 12 years 10 years of 10 to 12 years pancreatitis diagnosis you know it's it's very confronting isn't it when you get told these things and the doctor tells you oh you've got this for the rest of your life and um you have to be on medication for the rest of your life and you know you go through all those feelings and emotions and then when you come to this process and you're like actually you know i'm in control of my health and i can i can heal myself yeah uh, yeah absolutely and uh, yeah yeah what yeah exactly as what we've been told before that uh, there's life is going to be completely full of medications that too if you're lucky and worst case you might even some have to go for a surgery hmm. and it was really scary uh, but um, all that life of uh, constant fear and like it told that there is no hope there is no cure and to uh, that uh, compared to what we we, we see uh, the um, uh, the the uh, uh, the lack of knowledge of um, what exists in out there regarding this uh, uh, disease and uh, coming uh, and having to know that you know, it's it's completely uh, yep completely it's uh, it's a it's a wonderful journey and yep and it's again it's it's in more harmony with your body hmm. it's um, yeah, really awesome yep all right and to finish off the interview we always get our guests to talk to the audience a little bit about some advice they would give so say for example someone's watching this and they're in a similar position to where you were before you started you know what kind of advice would you give them in terms of how to take um action towards healing yeah so the first thing is like uh, is to be hopeful is uh, yeah and for me many times that line or this word didn't make much sense initially Hmm. it was i couldn't command my brain to be uh, like hey now be hopeful but uh, to explain the other side of it was like um you can't remain hopeless too long also because you are alive and you got to keep fighting so someday hmm. you're going to get that hope so why waste time until then so better hmm. first is to be hopeful and things are possible there is an i am a live example uh, uh, shamiz is a, a live example and and so many others which you uh see you know, like describing even worse symptoms and um, um, uh, and this what i suffered was uh, even pan colitis which was told to me that oh this is one of the most severe mm-hmm. forms of colitis because it um, span, uh, spans your entire right side and left side of your colon mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah, uh, and which is will be on constantly on medications but uh, i would need to be my uh, Uh, on medications but no nope. um uh, yeah so um, if you are hopeful and you are in uh, you eat uh, you stop poisoning your own body and uh, you eat um, uh, food that is in um, uh, in harmony uh, with your own self and um, you get right guidance like the one i got from high carb <laughs> yeah, it is um, yeah, uh, recovery is entirely just uh, mm. uh, what is it's just uh, nearby and um, believe me the with this diet and with this whole stuff i am able to taste so many flavors which were er- earlier masked and uh, uh, mm. like just by spice and oils and salt and all of those stuff this diet is just like getting uh, 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 some sort of a, a massage or a, a kind of a treating your own body uh, or uh, because it feels it 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 is something that gives life to it mm-hmm. and once you realize that uh, you are in sync uh, uh, with your own body and you're not 
um, uh, you stop poisoning it, uh, uh, recovery is easily possible. So this disease is completely treatable. It um, uh, once you know the root cause and uh, allow the body to detox and uh, and and heal. So do, uh, so don't be uh, um, uh, um, uh, like uh, don't rely completely on the hmm. what the medical science has to uh, say. There are so uh, the this is com- uh, healing is completely possible. Hmm. Yeah. And you talked about guidance. How important do you think the guidance is compared to not having it? I guess that was the main thing uh, because uh, reading the um, just the the book was I was confused like initially like uh, how to progress um, on that. So the guidance is yeah, and there is so much things in the food uh, that uh, uh, and uh, like uh, how to introduce. Um, um is 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 itself a meaning a, it's based on experiences of so many people that high carb has dealt with hmm. that it's uh, um, it's not like a one uh, 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 just one uh, direct list yeah and because of the experience of so many uh, people we know how the how, what kind of foods are uh, added uh, and what is the uh, and how how to uh, up them and the order to proceed so um, yeah so without that guidance i um, i it's, it's pretty easy to get little lost and then you begin to doubt yourself but once you get the guidance and you come to know yep this is not no this is something not to worry about this is seen this is common and or this is something which you should uh, scale back on so you know that there's something uh, which is um, that uh, you are listening to an opinion uh, uh, of uh, um, which has been like uh, see uh, uh, validated or which has um, uh, across so many other people um, and mm-hmm. suffering from them and that is more assuring so the guidance is definitely definitely uh, 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 a very important thing that i would say all right well thank you so much for sharing your story man i think it's been very valuable yeah. to listen to your experience and a lot of people we get get a lot of motivation you know during their own healing experience and their own healing journeys listening to how you have been able to overcome it as well i just want to thank you very much for coming and sharing it's it's a brave thing to do to come and be open and and you know vulnerable about your experience and share what you've been through um, such a personal thing um so i want to thank you very much uh, for joining me today yeah, thanks. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm glad to. Yeah, I could come in. Um, uh, this helps people. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And my favorite part of the interview is congratulations, Shishir. You now have a life after colitis. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So everyone who's been watching here is another example of someone who's taken control of their own health and are now living medication and symptom free, something your doctor will tell you that you cannot achieve, but you can if you want to do it. So uh, if you believe in yourself and, you know, take control of it and, you know, start eating plants and start following a healthy diet and lifestyle. If you need some help, you know where to find us. And uh, for everyone who's either watching this on YouTube or listening to this on the podcast, please feel free to share this as far and wide as you can, because it's not easy to come across this information. And we want to give as many people uh, hope that healing is possible uh, as we can. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that little bell notification to get notifications of all our recent uploads, just like this one. If you're listening on the podcast, subscribe to the IBD Heal podcast and so you get notifications of our latest episodes. And if you liked Shishir's journey, please give the video a thumbs up because it allows us to reach more people on YouTube. If you have any questions, there's a comment section down below. So type away, ask as many questions as you need to, and uh, we'll get back to them as best as we can. Apart from that, I'd like to thank you all very much for joining us here today on IBD Heal. Make sure you eat plants and lots of them. Take care, everyone.